Coming up today on YOLO Texas. Everyone that we've talked to has said that you have the best popcorn they've ever had. What's the secret? I can't tell you that. <laughs> what is the coating on this? That's a sweet tea glaze. My first question off the bat. Okay. Busted sandal, where'd you come up with the name? This is the fun part of our job is when we get yeah. to talk to country artists like you, Josh Abbey. Join us on our trip across Texas. tag us as Holotus Proud, and that's where we're really building our image on. We're proud of our people, we're proud of our businesses, and this is a great place to come out and hang out, have your debates, sit there, go grab a coffee, and go down and have a dance at uh, Flores Country yeah. Store. Welcome to the Texas Grounds Coffee Thank Company. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, we bake fresh every day, all these goodies. This is what we're famous for, yeah. our cream puff, as well as our freshly roasted coffee. If you pop your head in that back room right there, we roast our coffee fresh every day right here. The taste of our cream inside the cream puff. Okay. That's going to change your life right there. Okay. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> you feeling it? Yeah. That's real smooth and good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that'll make you feel some type of way. We also have a bed and breakfast upstairs. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, people usually stay with us and then they go across the street to floors for concerts. Love it. Yeah. I can't wait to check everything out. It's coffee time. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. You know, I've been to certain areas, but I haven't been to most places, surprisingly, here in Holota. So I'm so excited to just explore a little bit more and get Absolutely. to know, you know, some new places that are literally just down the street from my parents' house. Exactly. <laughs> was well, really kind of one of the things that we focused on here in, in Holota is just building the community, right? So yeah. uh, previous administrations looked at Holota as what's in the city limits, and uh, Holota is a little bit more than that. We're we're the Lotus area, right? So right. we really try to bring in events and create an atmosphere that embraces people to be able to just peel away from San Antonio, yes. uh, hang out with the uh, good folk of Lotus and uh, enjoy some great events. Yes. What I love about Lotus is even though it's growing, it still hasn't lost its identity as far as being that wholesome hill country atmosphere. Even though it is growing little by little, it's, it's not too overwhelming. And you know, you hit a good point. It's such a difficult balance to be able to grow and still maintain your identity. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things we really focus on. And our identity kind of centers around the fact that we like to uh, uh, have barbecue, yeah. uh, we like live music and we drink beer, we love our businesses and we center this all around a, a solid core faith and so that's really the yeah. fiber of who we are. We have a long list of places that we need to check off for Yolo, Texas, but we're starting off here at <laughs> Texas Grounds. And that's a key point, you know, right, right here in the heart of Old Town we got Texas Grounds which is a fantastic place. You know they roast their own beans here. Yeah. And that's just really actually the testament to the owners. You know, you walk in, you feel like you're at Cheers. Rich, what's <laughs> up? You know, and, and yeah. you just love that environment. And yeah. that's really, uh, you know, that's not unique just to the shop. Every shop you go to in Old Town has really got that feel about it. Hi, I'm Erin. Kyle. Nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to V Daddy's. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's uh, get some food. Let's do it. Sure. I'm hungry. So yeah, you'll get your meats down here, and then we come down here and we'll get our sides. So I would recommend getting a three meat plate. You can try a little bit of everything that way. Sounds good. I was looking at brisket, turkey, and rib. Cool. <laughs> um, sides, I would go mac and cheese and green beans. Ooh, and y'all make it right here? Yeah, you can watch everything get made right in front of you. Did you want to grab a beer while we're here? I mean, you can't have barbecue without beer, right? That sounds amazing. Texan beer, barbecue, right here in Holotus, Texas. Awesome. Cheers. 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 Yeah. 
Where to start? <laughs> I know. We've got both barbecue sauces. So that's the tangy sauce. It's more of a vinegar base. Okay. And then this one is sweet and spicy. This one smokes on the barbecue pit. So it's got a real like Ooh. smoky flavor to it. I'm gonna have to give it a try with my turkey here. Yep. Wow, that's so good. A lot of people are scared of turkey because it's dry, but ours is pretty good. My tongue is just like doing all the work. You don't even have to bite into it. It's yeah, our so turkey is uh, probably my favorite thing on the menu. Man, this is just like literally falling apart. The brisket, <laughs> everything. That's when you know like, it's good stuff. It's some good stuff right there. <laughs> I'm like, we don't have any sausage on our table right now. Our sausage is made down the street at Shots Meat Market, so we try to keep that local also. What is the coating on this? That's a sweet tea glaze. So we take sweet tea concentrate and put on top of them when we're cooking. Oh yeah, it's sweet, it's spicy, a pleasant surprise. I was not <laughs> expecting this at all. This That's is all awesome. compliments to Pitmaster JJ. Uh -huh. He did all the cooking this morning. You can't ask for anything better when you're talking about barbecue. Exactly. So cheers. Cheers to that. Hello, hello. This place is adorable and it smells Thank so you. good. So we carry a little bit of kind of everything, but it's mostly female fashion. Awesome. We have kids clothes from infant up to about seven or eight, and then we kind of jump there into the ladies from small to 3X. We have Consuela. We have Consuela, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. We are an authorized Consuela retailer. This is legit the one that I have at home. Is it? Yes. <laughs> good, is good. It? I am a Texas girl, yes. born and bred. Amen, like, amen. So it was really important to me when we opened the store that um, I try to get as many Texas-based um, brands and artists in the store, so mm -hmm. obviously Consuela. Yes. It's a Texas yes. thing. Yes. <laughs> it's a Texas awesome. thing. Addie Grace is my granddaughter. That's who the oh, store is named after. Okay. Love that we had the opportunity to do this because we have been able to spend so much time with her. Oh, that's and so, so great. That's like the biggest thing. Is there me. any one specific thing that Miss Addie loves here in the store? You'd be surprised, but <laughs> Addie actually has 20 pairs of cowboy boots. Really? Anything that glitters or sparkles, Addie pairs it up and she, I, I'm telling you, we just created like a little fashion diva. Yeah, no kidding, <laughs> like I can only imagine. Diva. Okay, yeah. well I'm gonna do some shopping. <laughs> These are wax melts and lamps and they're from San Antonio, my hometown. And there's so much more, I'm only on one rack. There's a whole lot more of Helotus still to come on Yolo Texas. One of the great things we have in our community every month is Holotus Market Days. We have probably a couple thousand people come out and uh, we have nearly 200 vendors, uh, live music, activities for the kids, so that's really the fiber of who we are. Samantha, we are so excited to be here at Holotus Market Days. Well, first, welcome Thank to you. the Marketplace at Old Town Holotus. So what all can yes. we see, shop for, get our hands on here at Holotus Market Days? There's a little bit of everything and there's something for everyone. So the great part about it being in Old Town Holotus is that the businesses are open. So if you want to nice. swing by Floors Country Store, stop by the Holotus Gallery and check out some art, those are all open during the event. Yeah. Otherwise, we have anything ranging from arts and crafts to jewelry, t-shirts, yeah, you name it, it's probably here. And then we also have delicious food options. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So you being here, uh, being a part of this city, what is one thing that you love? One of my favorite things about Holotus is the people. We do this the first Saturday of every month yeah. and it's always jam-packed full of residents looking for ways to help their local businesses. Love it, love, love, love. And if there's any way that we can help support the local businesses here in Holotus as well, we're gonna do our part. The strategy here is to start at one point, make your way all the way down, snake around, try all the things, buy all the things. 
and this is the first step. <laughs> Baby and children's boutique. I need all the things for my kiddo. Outfit you can just throw on, go to Floor Dance Hall, get two for one, cowboy boots, cowboy hat. Cheers. Mmm. Whoa! That's cool, it kind of just like dissolves in your mouth. It's like a little puff. You caught all of our eye with the whiskey morning coffee free samples. True barrel age. Ooh, that's smooth. Yeah. I was like, whoa, that's that's hot too. <laughs> We're a Texas travel show, so I have to go with all of these. I like the sparkles. Yeah. Here we go. So everyone that we've talked to here at Helotus Market Days has said that you have the best popcorn they've ever had. What's the secret? I can't tell you that. <laughs> What do you love about being out here? What I love about Helotus is meeting all the people. Everybody is so nice. People. I just love the people. I love the city of Helotus, and I just, just love coming out here. I like to consider myself a wine connoisseur, not a sommelier yes, yet, yes. but you know what you like and <laughs> yes. you know the difference. Yes, so what are we drinking right here? So what we have is a Texas wine, it's a sweet red, it's very fruit forward, but it's not too sweet Ooh. and it's very subtle. So. I think the best part about it is it's a Texas wine, so cheers yes. to that. Cheers. Yay! So we are out here at Wine 101, so what is the story? I grew up around food and wine because of my dad and my mom. I've learned to appreciate a lot of things like wine and it's just been a great experience. The community is just a whole new level. I bet. I love it so much out here and I just, I love what we're bringing. We cannot be at Wine yes. 101 and not talk about the wine. So what kind of wines are we going to find here? We have a good variety from, you know, your cabs your, to your light bubbly Proseccos and anything in between. We, we want to treat you like family. We want that homey comfort feeling. But you still get away and get to enjoy a nice glass of wine. Something that we're proud about here at uh, Wine 101 to introduce to our customers here in the Lotus is going to be our uh, shakuri boards. This one here is going to pair with your white light wines. So my eyes automatically went to the crab claws. Crab claws. Go ahead and dip it into our house Italian dressing. So your wine should actually cleanse your palate after you taste all of that flavor going on. It took the fish to another level. Exactly. Right. Yeah, it'll, it'll elevate everything. Holy smokes! Um, so again, this is part of the experience that we're trying to uh, give to our customers. We're bringing out the big guns. The big guns. Yeah. Camus. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. And then we're pairing it with with Camus. This is a flagship wine out of Napa Valley. Oh. It's gonna be big. It's bold. This is what I like. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, me too. Me too. <laughs> so now we gotta taste it. With the Nuwacha, it's it's uh, in southern Italy. It's uh, treated as a spread. So again, you're gonna wanna um, spread it on some pita. Again, okay. it is a little spicier. Those two together are fire in a non-pica way. <laughs> and as you probably noticed, all these meats are now your richest red meats. And those pair best with your rich bold calves. I'm greeting the greatest experience of all time. So it's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to Wine 101. So a happy big cheers. Cheers. A bold cheers, cheers. to you guys. So salud. 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 right where you are. Our time in Old Down Helotus rolls on after the break. February we celebrated 50 years. It was just a small little family owned restaurant and it's grown into this huge beautiful place. Let's start off the interview with the cheese. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. All right. So this is our mango chamoy margarita, and then this is our jalapeno pineapple margarita. I feel like anyone who's been in the San Antonio area or the Holotus area always knows I'll shop for yes, do. What is some of the popular dishes or maybe some of the things that make you guys unique? So our fajitas are probably the number one ordered thing here. 
all different kinds of enchiladas. We do nachos. I mean, anything you can think yeah. of. We, we have a very big, diverse menu. The fresh food is here. Oh, thank you. We got the chicken tacos. You and the tortillas. Yes, thank Enjoy. you. It's called the Valerie Special. Okay, I'm gonna it's make a little taco probably here. Probably our most popular dish. Um, it comes with our cheese enchilada, a portion of fajita meat. You can get chicken or beef, and our famous refried beans and awesome. guacamole and pico de gallo. And then what do you have? I'm on your having plate? the street tacos. They come with jalapeno infused chicken with onion, cilantro, queso fresco, and avocado. Can I just say that these enchiladas are so bomb.com. They just like melt in your mouth. It's such a simple, simple meal, but y'all really do bring pack the flavor in it. We really so take good. pride in our recipes and having fresh food and that they haven't changed over the years. Mm -hmm. They're the same beans that the owners made when they opened this restaurant. Really? Yes. There's so much more to it. I yeah. mean, the bar takes on its own life on the weekends as well. Mm -hmm. and the patio and it's really the whole deal. We're a local craft brewery here in Pelotas area in San Antonio. So what's your poison? What do you like to drink? One, my first question off the bat. Okay. Busted Sandal, where'd you come up with the name? So, uh, <laughs> it was a group of guys that were home brewers. Guys got together and went up to Austin to go visit the brewery for one last time. Right. But as we were leaving the establishment with feeling a little happy, you know, maybe a little too much to drink, um, out on the sidewalk was a busted sandal. And so the whole conversation went like, how did this sandal get here? Yeah. Did the person walk home with one sandal on and barefoot on the other? And so that became the name because behind every busted sandal is an awesome story yeah. as to how it got busted. Well, the first beer I'm gonna serve you is Hill Country Lager. So in this beer, when we brewed it, we put corn flake because of Helotus is known for corn and cornival, so it's a really light, refreshing, low alcohol beer. It's kind of like an everyday drinker. Yeah, you can taste like the little sweetness from the corn. It's so cool. Exactly. What is the second beer on Second tap? beer we're gonna drink is the Jeff of Eisen. Our head brewer is named Jeff, <laughs> and he wanted to brew a Hefeweizen, uh -huh. so we called it Jeff of Eisen. Ooh, yeah. to me it's like a little zesty and I it's, like that. We brewed it to be a little bit of clove and you're gonna get the sweetness a of a banana. banana. Another great beer. Third beer is gonna be our Jay Hazy. This is a really, really good IPA. Yes. Yeah, it is got that extra fruitiness. Very approachable, oh my great, goodness. great hazy IPA that we made. Cheers to you guys. Cheers Any to way you. we can support you, we will. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's a whole episode dedicated to Helotus, and it continues after the break. The mainstay and the focal point of Old Town would be uh, Flores Country Store, where we have anybody who's anybody has, has played <laughs> at Flores at one point or another. Uh, they've been around here 80 years. Of course, uh, Holotus has only been established 40 years ago, so put it in perspective. Well, they've been here since the beginning of time. John T. Floor started this place as a dance hall and beer joint. It also had a cafe. And so he just kind of started this tradition that is still going today where all these kind of classic country names got to come through floors. You know, more recently, people like Randy Rogers Band and Robert O'Keefe have kind of made floors their second home. drive down the street and not see the whole Willie Nelson every Saturday yes. night. What's the story well, I was going to say that too. So John T. Floor and Willie Nelson are pretty good friends. So, you know, in the late 60s and early 70s when Willie Nelson wasn't Willie Nelson, right. you know, he, he played that stage, the indoor dance hall often. He, there, was, for, there was a little while here where he played literally weekly at Floor. Wow. You know what I mean? So it's pretty special. What do you think makes Flores so special in comparison to the other honky tonks here in Texas? I think a lot of people agree with me that Flores is almost like the heart of Helotus. Yeah. You know, I feel like we really breathe a lot of life into this town. 
Now you can tell on the, just on the street, you know, here's floors and then businesses are just growing around it. Right. People come from all over the world to see us and it's a really cool thing to see. This community is so tight knit. I think just the history is awesome. Not that the others don't have history, but yeah. we've got a lot you of history. You got 80 years of history. Yeah, here. and the other thing too that I think is unique is, you know, we have this old school kind of dance hall in here. Yeah. But then you walk outside oh, and yeah. we can we have a stage that can host of thousands of fans yeah. and kind of bigger names. But you can yeah. like you said, you <laughs> yeah. cannot talk about Holotus and not talk about Floor. Absolutely. So I'm glad that we're here. One yes, more cheers, cheers to that. Cheers. The 80th anniversary. 80th anniversary. Yes. fun part of our job is when we get to yeah. talk to country artists like you, Josh Abbott, you're playing here at Flores Dance Hall. You're no stranger to it, so no. I, mean, I got to ask the big questions. What is it like performing here? Well, it's always a great crowd. There's an energy uh, in particular here. The crowd is just always electric. People, I think, you know, genuinely love coming here, specifically to this venue to watch bands. Yeah, absolutely. When you're here, you gotta try the tamales. You have to get the tamales. <laughs> the tamales here at Floors Country Store are just top notch. You wouldn't think, going to a dance hall, that right. you would have to get tamales. No, you wouldn't think it. As someone who travels around, eats a lot of tamales, <laughs> this place is premium. We are a Texas travel show. You travel Texas and beyond. What is the difference between Texas and the rest? There definitely is some sort of originality and charm to the old school dance halls. You know, the crowds are rowdy, especially <laughs> in Texas. It truly is a massive part of our success and who we are. Those years shaped me a lot. 